Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today I'm gonna to show you how to make this $100,000 ice cream. Now, of course, it is not really gonna cost me $100,000 to make this, because I don't have $100,000, and we're gonna do the Walmart version, so it is much, much cheaper. But if you saw Mr. Beast's latest video where he ate $100,000 ice cream, this is gonna be very similar. After watching Mr. Beast's $100,000 ice cream video, I was inspired to do this. It's a Walmart version because I don't have $100,000. So let's go to Walmart. And the first thing I'm gonna do is go to Walmart and get the supplies I need. And since this is a Walmart version, I'm gonna get the most expensive supplies that Walmart carries. First thing we're gonna do is make our very expensive chocolate ice cream. And to do that, I'm gonna use the most expensive chocolate bar I could find at Walmart was this 70% uh, dark chocolate. We need to cut this up into small bits and melt it down. I'm gonna use a microwave. You can use a double boiler if you'd like. Either way, it doesn't matter. We're just gonna cut this chocolate up into small little bits here so it's easier to melt. If you're gonna put it over a double boiler, you can skip this step, but I'm gonna put it in a microwave, so I'm gonna put a touch of vegetable oil in this. About a half teaspoon. Microwave 30 seconds at a time, mix it in between. Okay, so when that is all melted, we're just gonna set this aside and work on the rest of our ice cream. We're gonna make a very basic, simple ice cream, and uh, you just need to start off with a large bowl. Add two cups of heavy whipping cream. We just wanna whisk this until it forms stiff peaks. All right, and there we go. Should be nice stiff peaks. And you know it's formed stiff peaks when you can hold it over your head and nothing comes out. Next, we're gonna add 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk. That's also a half of a container. This is a 14 ounce container, so half of it. One half cup of sugar, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and then our melted chocolate, high quality chocolate from Walmart. Now we're just gonna fold this in until it's all well combined. Find yourself a freezer safe dish and we're gonna pour our chocolate base of our ice cream into it. Give it a few taps. And we're gonna cover it with plastic wrap. What this does is make sure it doesn't get freezer burn. Push that plastic wrap all the way down into the ice cream base. We're gonna refrigerate this for four to six hours until it firms up. Next, we're gonna make the high quality huckleberry sauce to pour over our ice cream, and that's really gonna take it to that next level. And to do that, I have a saucepan here. I'm gonna add two cups of huckleberries. Yes, they look like blueberries, but I totally would not be lying to you, or would I? Then one third cup of granulated sugar, and then two tablespoons of lemon juice. Bring this to the stove and we're gonna heat it up until it starts to boil. Put it on medium heat. Give it a stir. And after about five minutes, it should liquefy like this. Just turn it down to a simmer for another five to eight minutes. All right, so after about five or eight minutes on the simmer, you should see it should darken up a lot, just like this. In a small bowl, we're gonna add two tablespoons of cornstarch. One and a half tablespoons of water. Mix it up. Add the cornstarch and water mixture to your berries. And mix it in, it should thicken it up. And yes, if you haven't guessed it by now, these are blueberries, not huckleberries, because I got them from Walmart and they didn't have huckleberries. Blueberries are very similar, but they're not the same. So I'm gonna set this aside and our sauce is pretty much made up. Next up, we're gonna make a topping that we're gonna to pour over top of our strawberries just to make it a little more extravagant. And I used Walmart's finest grape juice, red grape juice here. And uh, we're gonna take that and put it into a pot along with two cups of sugar. So here's the two cups of sugar in there. Let's open up our fancy grape juice. It is a screw off top. 
Uh oh, wasn't expecting that. All right, so we're just gonna pour in one cup of this grape juice. And we're gonna heat it up over medium high heat. Give it a stir. Heat it up until all that sugar dissolves. Now that the sugar's dissolved, we're just gonna boil this until it reduces to about half. And when it's thickened up nice, just turn it off. Next, I've already cleaned some strawberries. We're just gonna stem them, take the stem off of them, just like so. Now we're gonna come back to our grape juice that's been over the stove and heating up and it should be nice and thick take your strawberries one by one and we're just going to dip in there cover them really good with the syrup i'm just using two forks and grab it tap off the excess and place back on our cutting board after your ice cream is hardened up, pull it out of the freezer, open it up, pull off that plastic, scoop out and serve. Now what we gotta do is just add all this together in our giant bowl, and that's gonna make our $100,000 ice cream. We have to, of course, top it all off with some very expensive stuff. But let's put all the ice cream together, and since this is Walmart version, I have some Turkey Hill ice cream, not a sponsor, by the way, some Friendly's ice cream, and some other ice creams that I made. Of course, the chocolate one we just made, the high quality chocolate one. This is coffee flavored. And we're gonna add it all together to make that giant bowl of $100,000 ice cream. That's a Walmart version and doesn't exactly cost $100,000. So I figure I'll start off with some cookies and cream ice cream. We're gonna scoop that. We're trying to get the perfect scoops like they had in the video on Mr. Beast's video. And um, that can be a challenge, but we can do it. And I figured best if we just alternate the different types of ice cream, just scoop out like one scoop of every kind and work our way up. Now we're gonna put on our edible gold leaf and this you have to be really careful with. These gold leaf are very delicate and you don't wanna to touch it with your hands if you can avoid it, because it will stick to your hands, it's so thin. So this is what it looks like. This is edible gold leaf and I'm just gonna press it on there and use some tweezers to kind of put it around the ice cream. Next up, we're gonna to top some of this stuff off. I have some of that huckleberry sauce or blueberry sauce. I'm just gonna put a couple <laughs> little spots on here. Add some of our very expensive strawberries. And we're gonna to top it off with some butterscotch as well. Drizzle that on there. Mm. Caramel sauce. Hot fudge, of course. And we have to put some whipped cream on there. Of course, top it with some maraschino cherries. And this is it, this is our $100,000 ice cream. Now it's time for the taste test. Let's dig in, of course, with our tiny spoon. I'm gonna try a little bit of that chocolate ice cream that we made with some of that gold leaf and get some of that caramel. Mm, this is very good. Now it's gonna take me a while to eat it with this tiny spoon, but I'm up for the challenge. Well, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this $100,000 ice cream. It's a lot of fun. It was a lot more expensive than regular ice cream, but still fun to make and we did it on the cheap. So if you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Also hit that big red subscribe button. If you're not already subscribed, you get new videos all the time. And be sure to check out this video right here. And until then, I'll see you next time. Take the 100,000 uh, Walmart uh, chocolate. The first thing we're gonna do is start off, if you're just gonna double boil it, uh,
pour our ice, uh, and we're just going to refrigerate for, uh, and add the cornstarch, uh, add the cornstarch mixture to, uh,